Street photography is all about getting the shot, the decisive moment. Well, we're gonna take a first look at Tamron's 35 to 150 millimeter f2.8 f4 lens. Great combo of tech and features from telephoto zoom to stabilization to make sure you never miss a shot. Here it is, the new Tamron 35 to 150 millimeter f2.8 to f4 DI VC OSD lens. And if you love street photography like I do, you're really gonna love this lens. Tamron calls it the portrait zoom because it includes different focal lengths that are great for portraits. You have 35, 50, 85, and 105 millimeters. Conveniently, the focal length markings are on the barrel of the lens. The lens also has a fast variable maximum aperture of f2.8 to f4. It's like having four different prime lenses in one. I took it out for a spin in Miami and had loads of fun with it. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this lens. It's made for Canon and Nikon DSLRs and works with both full frame and APS-C cameras. Expect the Nikon version in late May and the Canon in late June. Tamron lent us the Nikon version and since the lens is designed and optimized for high resolution cameras, I paired it with Nikon's 45 megapixel, the D850. The first thing you notice is how nice the build is and how well it balances with the camera. It weighs around two pounds and is about five inches in length. This lens was built for shooting outside. It's fully weather sealed and has a fluorine coating on the front element to keep it clean. When it comes to performance, this lens was really made not to miss a shot. Its versatile focal range means you won't have to switch out lenses often and its autofocus is fast and responsive due to Tamron's optimized silent drive with the new dual microprocessing unit. You can also get up close to your subject for a more dynamic shot since this lens has a minimum focusing distance of around 17 inches. If you're trying to stay mobile and travel light without bringing a tripod, this lens is great for shooting handheld at slower shutter speeds since Tamron's great vibration compensation system gets you up to five stops of stabilization. I was even able to shoot at a quarter of a second handheld and got some seriously sharp photos. There's lots of good glass here, folks, and the optics don't disappoint. You get crisp, rich images at every focal range from the 19 elements in 14 groups, which includes three aspherical elements, as well as three load dispersion elements. And it has Tamron's broadband anti-reflection coating to reduce ghosting and flare. The fast maximum aperture is great for low light, so you can shoot at dusk or night, and it's great for isolating your subject from the background. It has a variable aperture, but I noticed it stayed pretty fast around f3 throughout the range, and it doesn't close down to f4 until 122 millimeters. This lens pairs really well with Tamron's 17 to 35 f2.8 to f4 wide angle zoom lens, making these two lenses all you would have to carry in your bag to get almost any type of shot you want. So does this new focal range sound like a good option for you? I'll look for your comments below and subscribe for more from Digital Goja. And come visit us at the Digital Goja showroom the next time you're in Miami. Keep on shooting, I'll catch you in the next video.